Hi, my name's Wendy Thomas with All the Strength Ministries. We're going to go pray for people. Praise be to God. How are you? I prayed for you before. Yes, yeah. yeah. You feel better? Yeah. Yeah. You look good. Praise be to God. It's good to see you. You want a sandwich? I have sandwiches. Let's talk to me. Hey. How are you? Thank you. You got Jesus in your heart? No, always. Always? Touch her today, Lord. I'm going to pray for everybody. I'm going to pray right now, Lord, that, that, that you go in every single person today, Lord, that you're going to heal them from the inside out. Totally and completely, Father. Woo! It's not good. Yes! Give them all jobs, places to live. Yes. Give it all to them, Lord. Yes. Hey, girl. Yeah. Give it all, Jesus. Shaking together. Running over. Is he going to pour blessings onto you all today? Yeah, that's good news. I have one more word for everybody. Praise be to God. God is so good that, what he, now, Will? that he brings me. All these what people that are helping me out today. And I just want to tell you that if you invited Jesus into your heart, you're born again, you have the mind of Christ. Amen? That's good. You have the mind of Christ. You know all things. You can have as many as you want. I made it all. I'm not going home with any. All right. Help yourself. All right. And God says that all of his fullness dwells inside of you. So you just talk to him and tell him what you need. He knows what we need before we even ask him it. But he wants us to ask. You want a sandwich? 
peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I got, oh, I have applesauce too. Applesauce. You're welcome. All right. And he says that with God, all things are possible. That doesn't mean a few things, it means all things are possible. Right? He wants us to stay in the Word of God. He wants us to read the Word. That's all right. Oh, thank you. He, he says that we need to stay in the Word of God. This is life. This is healing. This is every single thing that we need right here. He needs prayer in this. He needs prayer right here. I already know I'm going to hell. Hey, darling. I have no water. Crazy, no water in there. It's going to help. Uh, you almost go. No. Is there any water? Sorry. All right, so we could do all things to God who strengthens us. God loves you. Today, he says. Can get a yeah. Grab as many sandwiches as you want. God loves you. Yes, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord, for all these people here, Lord. That you're going to have good people come into their life, Lord. That this is going to be a great new beginning for them, Lord. Yes. I pray that they will know you, Father that I take the binders off of them right now, Father, so that they can see your face. He wants me to tell you that he's always been with you. He's never left you nor forsaken you ever in your life. And he wants you to look back and remember things where he has saved you from. I remember many places he saved me from. I remember when I... Um, I remember when I was a teenager, I did a, I, I got drunk and I did a 360 on the interstate and I hit a guardrail and I wasn't wearing a safety belt and I remember a peace coming over me like I've never felt before in my life. And he told me when I got him, he said, I held you in that seat. And you know, my car was completely totaled. The whole back, the whole front end was crushed in, crushed in and I didn't have one single scratch on me. And that's because he was there holding me. So he showed me in points in my life where he was there. One day, one time I um, I got in a car with a man and I went on a date with him, right? Okay? And I met him in a parking lot. I mean, I, I met him and I left my car in a parking lot, right? And we went up to the mountains. This is in Tennessee. And I was a teenager. And he took me up in the mountains and it was in the middle of nowhere. Like nobody was around. It was Norris Dam. So I get there and the guy pulls a gun out to me and points it to my head. He says, I'm, you're going to do whatever I say. I looked at him in his eyes. I looked at him in his eyes. And do you know what he did? He took the gun and put it up underneath the seat and he brought me home. He brought me to my car. But you know what the Lord said? He said, he saw me in you. He saw me. He saw Jesus. He saw Jesus inside of me. Even though he didn't like, hey, beautiful, get over here. I love you. How are you? How are you? I don't believe it's summer's here. What are you doing? I love you. Jesus into your heart. God bless.